gorgeous fall day in Lexington, Kentucky, and the race card about to get started here at Keeneland. It is Make-A-Wish Day. Earlier, we told you Jen Reutz has been the driving force for many years behind this Make-A-Wish Day at Keeneland. With her now is Caleb Keller. And Todd, always looking forward to uh, talking with Jen here, who spearheads a great team to make this day possible. And Jen, TVG, we always look forward to meeting these uh, children. Uh, we're going to meet nine wonderful children today. Yeah, we've got nine kids paired up with nine different farms. They're going to pre present the trophies for nine different races, and they've got a variety of backgrounds and a huge variety of wishes. We've got one kid who wanted to go to Switzerland to see the Alps because he read about it in a book one time. We've got a couple who went to Hawaii, uh, one who wanted to learn how video games are made, so he went to Microsoft in Seattle. I mean, it runs the gamut. It's awesome. And I can only imagine how much work goes in just to this day. So now that we've come here and you know that uh, these kids are going to see these uh, realizations of their dreams, how does that make you feel? It's so exciting to see it through their eyes. They walk into, um, we've got a big dining room set up for them upstairs. And they have the total VIP experience. So they walk in and there's gift baskets that are bigger than some of them. And they have a huge kids buffet that, I mean, you see their eyes like just widen when they see the chocolate fountain, chicken fingers and all that. And so it just kind of takes their mind off of everything they've been going through with the hospital and treatments and all of that. It's kind of the epitome of what Make-A-Wish does. And meanwhile, Todd Shrub's still trying to get up to the top floor buffet with a chocolate fountain. But uh, I got to ask you, you, you actually galloped horses out here. You've been involved with the racetrack for a long time. But what made you want to get involved with Make-A-Wish? Um, I used to work at Three Chimneys Farm, and there was a kid years ago, probably seven or eight years ago, who wanted to meet Smarty Jones. Mm. And just being part of helping that wish to come true really made an impact on me. And seeing everything they go through, it just makes all of our problems seem so small and insignificant when you see the bigger picture. So I got involved with Make-A-Wish, and I've just loved how it kind of gets all of the farms and now both of the major veterinary clinics together, and it's just a really collaborative effort. It's awesome. And you guys have been doing this for a few years now. One of the things, you know, as we uh, save up for a day like this to, to be possible, we also want to make sure that we have a chance to do this year in and year out. So for the uh, viewers that are interested, how could you donate? Yeah, if viewers want to donate, they can go to the Make-A-Wish Foundation and the website's on, uh, on the screen right now, and they can donate there. They can go to our Facebook page. They can go to Twitter. They can go to the Keeneland website. Um, if they're out here during the day, they can donate some of their winnings. Hopefully they win a lot and they want to be generous. But, yeah, every little bit helps. It costs about $8,000 on average per wish, so every little bit helps to make these kids' wishes come true. Well, Jen, on behalf of TVG, we always love talking to you, and we're looking forward to a great day. We are, too. Thank you so much. All right, Todd. Important to point out, it is the national organization of Make-A-Wish, but then they have chapters around the country. Yeah. So, obviously, the chapter here has sprung into action. And, Paul, you mentioned an opportunity you had when you were playing baseball going back around circa 2007. Yeah, in 2007, I got to meet a young man who had the same last name as me and got to spend the day with me and take a look at this video real quick, and I'll explain it to you. And I got to talk over it. I'm sorry. So what ends up happening here, his name is Peter Luduka, and his wish was for me to throw the first pitch to him. Um, and I got to spend the whole day with him. He was before and after the game. Um, and I remember what I told him. I'm like, how you doing? And he looked at me. I'm going to grab his head. And I said, how's the day been going so far? He's like, this is the best day of my life. And that way you win the game. And by the way, this is the game that myself, Delgado, and David Wright went back to back to back. And I remember... <laughs> seeing him after the game and he gave me the biggest hug and the biggest high five and you know jenny was talking to caleb those kind of things you can't replace you yeah. just can't yeah and uh, so you're going to hear some very special stories throughout the day we hope you'll stay with our coverage all day long and you know, while you're hearing these stories you're also going to be playing the great racing action here at keeneland